All right, today we're going to be matching candy paint uh, from House of Colors UK 08, which is tangerine. This is the color we're trying to match right here. Um, it's off of Habosa. That's Suzuki. And we're going to be painting the tank, but not in this video. So we're just going to try to match this color right here. This will be using two different base coats, uh, one from Kirker, another from House of Colors. Kirker is a, a quick silver and it's a four to one mix ratio. And then House of Colors is Orion Silver, and it's a two to one mix ratio with the, uh, I'm using a medium reducer, that's a Tangerine UK08. And the clear we're using is USC01, it's a show clear. So the donor piece is a piece of tile. <laughs> it has texture, I mean, it's it's rough. So it's not gonna be a flat surface. I'm trying to see some, and all I really need is the, the tone. So I taped off a bunch of sections, and I'm gonna do, uh, that top's gonna be the Kirker and the bottom's gonna be House of Colors. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna shoot one coat. And after I shoot that one coat, I'm gonna come back and block off one block. And then I'm gonna shoot the second coat. Then I'm gonna block off the next block and do the third coat and fourth and so on. That way we get our different uh, color. Um, you know, it's gonna get darker as we go along. So this is the gun we're using, Astro. It's a uh, Evo technology. I mean, it's it's uh, it saves a lot of material. I don't spit out as much as my other guns, so that's why I'm using it. I want to save some material, and it has a nice fan on it. Also, and it's real light, very light. So, and it was actually pretty cheap. So, mixing up, there's the House of Colors Orion Silver, and you can uh, see I only did like three ounces. I didn't do much on that one. It's a little brighter. And you can see it coming down the stick. It's got the metallics in there. Here's the Kirker. Quicksilver, same thing. Seems a little darker. They both came out good though, overall. So we're gonna be doing this. Um, I'm gonna attack the area. Just wanna get a little dust or whatever uh, that settled it in on it. And like I said, it's got spores, texture, everything. So it's not gonna come out flawless, but I wanna see how it's gonna look. Once again, this is a piece of tile, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the House of Colors. Orion Silver at the, uh, on the left side right there. I think overall I put two to three coats on there. Okay, here we go. We're about to do the uh, Quicksilver from Kirker Spectra Series. It, it laid out real nice. So, nice coverage. And I think I did two to three coats also. Cover the black. It covered it up pretty good though. It's important to know the base coat. Um, that has everything to do with the, the tone, cover tone you're going to get. Alright, so here we go. Got a little candy in there. We're going to do this first coat. 50% overlap. Medium speed. Um, I'm probably six inches away. And we got nice coverage on the first coat. Alright. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit coat number two. And you can notice the difference already between the two. So I'm gonna block off the first block and we're gonna run that next coat up on there. Same thing, pretty much the same speed. And that's coat number two. Okay, here we go with code number three. We're gonna block off another block, find my tape line. And we're gonna go ahead and you can see the difference already. So I was looking, it's, mm, it's probably not gonna be past four coats and we don't know how long the bike's been painted. 
So it could have been fading. Also, have, it could have a little fade to it. So we're going to have to try to match that fade if we can. Uh, a lot of people don't use the uh, clear coat with the UV protectant in it, which you um, should do for uh, candy paint. So we're on coat number four right here. Same overlap. You can see it's getting darker. And here's five. I know I don't have my mask on, but <laughs> I wasn't really breathing. I was holding my breath till I'm, I'm done. I know it's gonna be real short, so let's put that down and you know, can get walk out pretty quick. Okay, on this one I kind of cheated. We did um, coat six, and I backdoor uh, doing number seven without waiting to flash time. So I mean, you don't have to worry about runs either. It's, it's flat, so it's not a big deal. And I knew the color wasn't going to be around six or seven. I wanted to see uh, how it looked in the sun with six or seven coats though. But the bike's probably going to be around three to four, like we said. So. Coming up next, uh, remove the tape lines so you can kind of, you know, get the separation. And I'm going to run the clip, mix up a little clip. I'm dusting it right now, moving real fast, pull the gun away from it, just a little dust. And then I'm going to come back in real close, slow up my speed. Once again, it's flat, so we don't have to worry about any runs. Even if it did run, it wouldn't matter the test piece but i mean it's good practice though so it'd be great to practice how you actually gonna spray and stuff so you can see the different uh colors so you can see it getting darker toward the end the top up there here we go let me know what you guys think um i'm stuck between three well two and three four is a little bit off um it's turning bright on the, the 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 bike piece because it's it's rounded everything else is flat so you're not gonna get that that um you know that angle and that's why you get that bright spot where the sun is hitting it at but it looked like about three let me know what y'all think so uh like and subscribe i'll be uploading a video uh with the gas tank next uh thank you all for watching comment